It's our big story at 10. We are learning more tonight about the two 13 year olds accused of brutally murdering an elderly woman. Antonio Barbo and Nathan Pape allegedly beat Barbo's great grandmother to death last week in Sheboygan Falls. Tonight, school leaders are sending out letters to parents. NBC 26's Heather Burke is live in the newsroom with the latest. People who know the teens tell us there were never any signs that the teens were capable of committing such a gruesome murder. Normal 13 year olds, not somebody who could do something so horrific. Kristen Scarpacey was just feet from Nathan Pape's Sheboygan home. I don't think anybody saw any huge red flags. Pape and his friend, 13 year old Antonio Barbeau, are charged with killing Barbeau's 78 year old great grandmother last week. Police say they were planning to rob her before striking her in the head with a hatchet and a hammer. Scarpacey believes the two teens were close. I did see him over here probably a handful of times. Um, riding bikes, hanging out. The teens attended Farnsworth Middle School with Scarpacy's daughter, who tells her they were quiet and kept to themselves. My daughter doesn't know how to process it right now, just because she has known them and the other boys since they were in. Um, Elementary school. School leaders sent a letter home for parents detailing how their small community turned into a crime scene. Pretty much was just explaining what had happened and letting everybody know that there's counseling on site for anybody that would need it. And help a community understand how anyone could commit such a horrific and gruesome killing in what seemed to be out of the blue. The teens remain in jail on a $1 million bond. They're expected back in court next week. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Heather Burke, NBC 26.